Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done an intro with me actually in it, but I wanted to introduce a new series that I'm starting because my mom gave me something for Christmas. She got me this air fryer. Um, I've never owned an air fryer before. I never really was interested in one. It got me thinking to start a new series where I compare common traditional methods of cooking versus their alternatives here with the air fryer. As part of the common recipes that I would find in this booklet that came along with the air fryer, um, such as deep frying, uh, oven, steaks, sear sandwiches, etc. It would also turn me into a believer of the air fryer, as well as hopefully turn some y'all into believers or non-believers of the air fryer. We'll be deep frying three different things today. We're doing chicken wings, french fries, and onion rings. And we're comparing it to the air fryer and see how they do. Without further ado, let's get started. Round one for the air fryer are chicken wings. I'm mainly using flats here because flats are superior. Please don't fight me on that. I will be cooking them without any breading or seasoning just to compare the natural flavors and textures. Half of the chicken will go into the air fryer at 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes as per the instructions in the recipe booklet. The other half will be deep fried at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of 6 to 8 minutes. After the cooking time, allow the chicken to drain a bit of the excess oil before adding the seasoning. I'm just using my personal all-purpose seasoning mix for both of the chicken. I have no recorded footage of me eating this, but I did do this entirely on Twitch, so check out my streams there if you want more food content. So how do the chicken compare to each other? I believe that the oil deep fried chicken had a nice texture to it, but deep frying without any breading just doesn't lead to a lot of crunch and crisp. However, the air fried chicken had dried skin, air bubble pockets, and overall, a crispy texture. The texture is comparable to the oil deep fried, but due to the convenience of the air fryer method with almost similar results. I have to get this round to the air fryer. It is just as delicious and I can just stick the chicken into the air fryer for 30 minutes while I go work on something else. That just can't be beat. Moving on to round two, I'm doing simple french fries. I begin by cutting russet potatoes into the classic fry shape and then soaking it in cold water for 10 minutes. This will one, prevent oxidization while you're getting everything together and two, helps draw out and remove some of the starches from the potato. After patting dry, I put half into the air fryer at 370 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes as per the recipe booklet and the other half I deep fry at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 to 10 minutes. After the cooking process, I season with salt while the fries are still hot to allow the salt to stick better. However, for the air fryer, we hit a snag. When I pulled the fries out, I noticed how dry they were. When I bit into the fry, it's almost as if there was no potato left and I was just eating baked potato skins. This is most likely due to the fact that I removed some starches during the pre-soak and the rest was cooked away in the air fryer. Without a doubt, the oil deep fryer wins this round. A side note however, I made fries again with the air fryer on another day and cut the cooking down to 20 minutes instead of 25 like the recipe book says. My results were better but not enough to beat the oil deep fryer. Now for the final round, onion rings. This will allow me to see how breading is affected by the air fryer. Slice an onion into thin rings, coat lightly with all purpose flour, then a second coating with a beaten egg, and finally a third coating of panko breadcrumbs. Half will go into the air fryer at 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes as per the recipe book. The other half will go into the oil deep fryer at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 4-5 to five minutes. The oil deep fried onion rings turned out classic. The tang and sweetness of a cooked onion and the crispy crunchy breading surrounding it. Nothing wrong here. However, the air fry results were interesting. Similar to the french fries, the onion almost evaporated during the cooking process. When I bit into it, it felt as if I was inhaling essence of onion instead of actually biting into an onion. The oil deep fryer, without a doubt, won this one. No contest. So after today's test, it's still showing that the deep fryer is superior to the air fryer. Um, I'm winning two out of three rounds, 
but I can't ignore how convenient the air fryer is because I can just set it in and just forget it until it's done cooking versus the deep fryer. I do have to monitor it sometimes, especially if I'm cooking something as fast as the onion rings that I was doing today. But today is the first of many tests that I plan to be doing with the air fryer. I will be revisiting deep frying with other items, but for today, it does seem that the deep fryer won. If you like this series, and if you have any ideas of what else I should be comparing the air fryer with, please leave a comment below. Remember to like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.